right, the Highland girls are the Section 9 Class B champions with a terrific win over Spack and Kill today. And we are here with head coach Jim Malik and Jada Jackson. Jim, first of all, set up the year for us. I mean, did you kind of expect this? Or did, you, did you knew you were going to be in contention? Well, you know, I think it came a year early, to be honest with you. Uh, but, uh, you know, we had a good group coming back. We only lost four seniors from last year. Of course, we had to replace Allie from last year. But uh, we knew that some of the other girls were going to step up. And then uh, I put together uh, one of the toughest schedules that we could put together. And I think that really helped us in getting to the pinnacle of where we are today. That's one thing I wanted to talk about. I'll talk a little bit uh, with Jada about it. Um, you guys had a monster schedule. You just didn't have a tough schedule. You had a monster schedule. And then it seemed like you kind of hit your peak right at the right time. Yeah, um, Coach scheduled a lot of hard games for us to get us to this point. And I think that's one of the reasons that we succeeded because we played a lot of tough teams to get us ready for this game. And what do you think was the key to this particular game? You got off to a great start. Yeah, we mainly had to shut down their offense, which is what we did with our great defense. And a lot of girls stepped up tonight, which is what we needed. Jim, a few thoughts on uh, uh, the way you played defense today. You really held them down. I mean, to hold them to 31 points, uh, the way Noel Mancini had been playing the last couple of games, and of course the way Izzy Herrera has been playing all season. Right, well, you know, we have a shutdown player in Candace McCutcheon. You can't say enough about her. She gets hurt, she comes back, she has to go back in the game, so she did a fabulous job on, on um, uh, the Herrera girl. And as far as us oh, as a team, that's what, that was our focus from the mid-season point on. We made some changes, we thought we were getting beat a little bit in the middle of the floor, uh, so we wanted to make some changes to that, and, uh, and that really helped propel us to where we are today. Jada, the traditional media question, how does it feel? Oh, it feels great. <laughs> All right, congratulations to you both. Thank you. Highlands Brianna Rossi is with us now. Uh, she is a sectional champion. How does it feel? It feels amazing. I feel like all the hard work has paid off, and we just came out here and played our hardest. What do you do? You know, we just talked to Coach. We talked to Jada. Yeah. Um, how big was the, uh, the the start to the game? Well, pre pre the, before these uh, before this game, we had. Marlboro and Fallsburg, and we, we got off to slow starts in both of those games. So I just, when we came out here, we, we came off to a fast start, and we just never looked back. You did not play like a number six seed, but you probably didn't feel like a number six seed because of that schedule. <laughs> that probably, you know, the, the, the early season going up against some of the bigger schools. Yeah. Um, did that mean anything, being a number six? I don't think it meant anything at all. I think that win versus a amazing team Marlboro just carried on through the rest of sectionals and we had three great games. All right a couple thoughts now on moving on to states. Um, not like you haven't been here before um, so you know talk a little bit about what you gain in a, in a win like this in a pressure situation and you know how you're going to come out on, on Tuesday at SUNY New Paltz. Uh, I think we're going to come out like we have nothing to lose. Um, we've been we've been there before. I'm not I think I'm the only one on the team that's been there before, but we definitely, we're just going to play like we have nothing to lose. We're going to play against either Irvington or Briarcliff, I believe, and Irvington's been there a lot of times before too, yeah, so so we're ready. We're going to go to practice, work hard, and get ready for them. All right, thank you and congratulations. Thank you. All right, thanks, Brianna.